Hey guys, it's Mr. Arata here. Um, in a little bit, you're gonna hear from Officer Klumpian. Officer Klumpian and I are gonna be making a video here for you uh, to understand the, the steps to our ALICE procedures that we have here at school and other safety measures. Uh, in the past, we've come around to uh, the different homerooms and AAs and uh, had an in-person discussion, but obviously with uh, the measures that we need to place put in place this year, we're not able to do that. So we're gonna be creating a video. Uh, we hope you enjoy. Hi guys, it's Officer Klumpian. I'm here to give you a refresher on what ALICE stands for. So ALICE is used if we would have a violent intruder come into our building. ALICE helps us know what to do to keep ourselves safe and to get out of the building. So the A in ALICE stands for alert. Alert is when we are paying attention to what's going on, what we're seeing, what we're hearing, um, where is the intruder, what type of weapon do they have, what type of clothing are they wearing, what do they look like. Um, all those details are very important to give to the 911 dispatcher so that they can alert the police what's going on and that they can come and help us as quickly as we need them to. Um, it's important to keep in mind that the situation is going to change. So the 911 dispatcher wants to know what's happening if the intruder's moving around. Where are they now? What are they doing now? What's happening? All those details, so be paying attention. Next, we're gonna talk about the E in Alice. E stands for evacuate. So this is our main goal of Alice, is to get out of the building and get away from the danger. So we're always trying to leave the building safely. Um, there's many ways that you can do this. Um, doors obviously are the obvious thing. Each house has a door at the end of the hallways now. Um, most classrooms have windows, so if you have a window in there, um, be thinking you can take those windows down and they open all the way flat down. Um, if you can't get a window open, we suggest breaking the window. Um, break the window on the outside, not the middle, and clear out the glass and get through the window. Um, we, when you evacuate, we evacuate to rally points. We have two rally points that we use here at Clark. Those rally points are Lanza's Tannery Club, the parking lot, um, that's on Tannery Road, and then our other one is at the Wisteria House, which is over on Parkway, and you cross 45th Street. Um, so those are our two points that we meet. A lot of kids ask me, I live nearby, can I go to my house? You can, however, we ask that you alert an adult that you are there right when you get there so that your parents or guardians know where you are. If you're not gonna be at the rally points, you need to make sure someone knows where you are. Um, when we're evacuating, we ask that you run in a certain way. So there's gonna be a lot of police officers coming to help out, right? And they don't always know who the intruder is. So we want you running out of the building, nothing in your hands. You should not be carrying a cell phone. You should not be carrying anything. Do not have the weapon in your hand. If for some reason you end up ha having possession of the weapon, we will ask that you put it in a garbage can or a box and have your hands on the outside of it if you need to carry it out. We don't suggest carrying it out unless absolutely necessary. Um, it's very situation dependent, but we want your hands to be empty, okay? When you're running, I want you to hold your hands about up to your shoulders, just like this. Keep them close to your body and run. I don't want your hands up flailing in the air. It's really hard to run with your hands above your head and you may fall. So keep your hands like this when you're running. And we also suggest not running in a straight line. So make your line zigzag a little bit. Um, take a couple steps to the left, take a couple steps to the right, um, but just slightly, not exaggerated. You know, we want you to get to that rally point as quickly as you can with your hands like this. Next, we're gonna talk about the L in Alice. The L stands for lockdown. So 
Lockdown is going to be used if the intruder is near your classroom, okay? So, if you're hearing the announcement over the loudspeaker or you're hearing noises close by your classroom, we want you to lock down. You're gonna use a night lock that's located on the wall next to the door. Um, it's in a plastic container and it slides into the door and into the ground. Um, pay attention to where these are so you know in case you are the one that needs to lock it. Um, also, we want you to lock, just lock the door in general. You can also barricade stuff in front of the door, um, but do what you need to to keep that intruder out of your room. Most rooms have windows or doors that lead outside. Um, use these. So just because you lock down, still try to evacuate. Get out that window if you have one. Um, Hang tight until it's safe or you hear an update that that intruder has moved. Unlock your door and get out the nearest door that you can if you don't have a window. So we want to be practicing these things, okay? And thinking about them. Um, the next point brings me to C, which stands for counter. Um, so if you're locked in your room and you don't have windows, you're not able to evacuate right away, and the intruder breaks through your barricades, breaks into the room somehow, you need to counter. That means you need to create noise. You want to distract that intruder. Um, do anything you can to throw them off their game so that you guys are able to evacuate. Run out the door as fast as you can and get out of there. Um, sometimes that might mean one or two people throwing something at the intruder so other people can run out while that intruder is confused as to what's going on. I'm gonna take them by surprise. And always be moving around. Do not hide under desks. Do not just sit there. We want you to fight. We want you to counter that intruder and get out of the room as fast as you can and evacuate. Okay, the final one is the I and it stands for inform. So this is something that's happening throughout the entire event. Um, we want real-time information being provided over the loudspeaker. We want that intruder to know that we know you're here and we know where you are and we're letting everybody know what's happening. Um, so everybody can call in. There's instructions near the phone on our crisis management plan. Um, teachers will be making these updates. Um, the intruder is gonna be moving around and it's important that we get that information to everybody so that they can safely evacuate if the intruder moves away from their classroom or room that they're in, okay? So, pay attention to what's going on, listen to what's going on, listen to the adult in your room, and follow these steps to help you safely get out of the building. Okay, if you have any questions, please ask your teachers or stop by my office. We'll be happy to provide you any information um, that you may need. All right, thank you. Thanks Officer Klumpian for going through the, the steps of Alice and making sure that all of our students are safe and, and know the proper measures that are needed uh, in order to be safe here if, if we were to have uh, an incident that like this happen at school, which we hope never, never happens. Uh, just a couple things regarding Alice that I wanted to talk about. Uh, it's important that these drills are taken very seriously um, and that it's not a, a time to uh, joke around, goof off with your friends. Um, <clears throat> more importantly than ever, you know, we need to stick to our safety measures with the COVID-19 uh, Guidelines that we have in place with wearing your mask, keeping social distance, um, and making sure that we're, you know, kind of giving each other space so that we don't uh, get each other sick. Um, so please, when we do do the drills next week um, and the week after, please make sure that, you know, you are following those protocols as well. Um, and if we, when we do go and, and walk to the rally points, please make sure, you know, that there's as much space as possible that we can have in between everyone and that we're really listening to the directions from the teachers um, so that we can have a smooth safety drill.
Um, I wanted to bring up some things um, to you guys that are important for us here at school that um, are good friendly reminders to begin the year. So there's some things uh, each year that we need to talk about that are things that you probably should not bring to school because it's just not safe for you to do so. Um, so typically I'll go around and ask people what are some of these things that you shouldn't bring to school, um, but obviously we can't do that now. So I'm just gonna list some things that uh, would be very unsafe for uh, a student or even a staff member, any adult in the building to bring to school. Uh, so obviously a weapon would be uh, a big no-no for you to bring to school. Uh, this might include a knife, a gun, um, basically anything that would be categorized as a weapon. Uh, not allowed on school grounds. You know that this is common sense. So please don't even try to do that. Also, uh, drugs, alcohol, uh, lighters, vapes, these are things that are not allowed on school, school grounds. Uh, unfortunately, in the past, we've had to uh, confiscate some of those things, uh, not weapons, thankfully. Um, however, the, the drugs, alcohol, those things, lighters, vapes, have been confiscated before. Please do not make us do this again. Um, word travels pretty quickly when somebody has something like that at school here. Um, and more often than not, we are able to find that and confiscate it from people. Um, the next order of business here is uh, pictures in the bathroom. The bathroom is a very, very private place and it needs to be a private place. Uh, it is against the law to take any sort of video or picture or recording while you are in the bathroom. Um, <clears throat> you can get into some pretty serious trouble with Officer Klumpian and with the police department if uh, this turns out to be happening. Uh, so please make sure that any videos or, or pictures or recordings are not happening while in the bathroom. It's a private place with private business. Let's, let's, let's keep it that way. The next thing I wanted to talk about is the doors. Uh, so far this year, our students have been doing an awesome job with uh, keeping the doors closed. Uh, the front and back doors, or even any of the house doors, uh, if there were ever to be a, somebody outside, um, please do not open the door. Even if it's a teacher and they don't have their keys, uh, sorry, but teachers have keys for a reason, and we don't want to uh, just open the doors for, for, for people because it's very dangerous. Um, and you know we don't want unwanted visitors uh, in our, our building. So if you ever see somebody outside and they're asking you to let them in, please let them use the intercom system that we have in place for those reasons. Please never open the door up for anyone um, who is trying to get in. Please let an adult make those decisions. Uh, the next order of business uh, is the see something, say something. Uh, it's pretty simple. If you see something inappropriate, you know should not be happening, say something, please. It helps greatly with everything, um, and it, it definitely uh, helps our situation here. Uh, you know, we have many more students here than we do staff members and adults, so sometimes we do rely on, on students helping us and, and being responsible. So if you see something inappropriate, please say something. The next order of business is social media. Social media uh has definitely evolved over the past few years um, and many of you have uh, social media accounts we encourage you to use those in a responsible manner so that uh, anything happening uh, in your business does not uh, come over into school uh, in the past we've had some situation situations where uh, fights or uh, disagreements have been happening over social media and they've gotten to the point where it's affected kids at school here and they're learning. Uh, this is a place for, for students to come and learn and feel safe. Um, social media is not allowed here in school. Uh, most of those sites are blocked anyways. Uh, we just encourage you to please, if you do have social media, uh, to, to use it responsibly. Finally, my last thing, uh, we will be having a couple drills here in the, in the coming weeks. Um, please take these seriously. Please be responsible with them. Um, please help your teachers out as best as possible. Um, and let's get these uh, through these drills in an appropriate way, in a smooth way, and um, be prepared if, if any of these things were to ever happen. We appreciate your, your time here. Um, hopefully we were able to keep this video to somewhat of a manageable time for you. Uh, 
Thanks for being so great. Have a wonderful day, Raider Nation.